Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time we're going to take up the lessons in quarter 1, week 4. And that covers geometric sequence. Again, when we say geometric sequence or geometric progression, it is a sequence where each term after the first term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant called the common ratio. So which of the following is or are a geometric sequence? Is it A, B, C, or D? Those are B and C. Why? Because they have a common ratio. Now let's have this set of numbers 3, 15, 75, 375, and so on. Our first term is 3, and our common ratio is 5. To find the second term, we multiply our first term by the common ratio, and that is equal to 15. And to find the third term, we multiply the second term by their common ratio, or that is 3 times 5 times 5 is equal to 75. And to find the fourth term, that is equal to the third term times 5, or that is 3 times 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 375. Now, if we're going to write this uh, expression into symbols, this a sub 2 is equal to a sub 1 times r. And then, a sub 3 is equal to a sub 3 equals a sub 1 times r times r. And this a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 times r times r times r. If we're going to write this again into exponential form, this is equivalent to a sub 2 equals a sub 1 times r. a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 times r squared. And a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 times r cubed. If you observe, the exponent here is 1 less than the value of n. So if we continue the process, we will arrive on our formula for geometric sequence. This is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So how do you find the n term of a geometric sequence? The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1 where a sub n is equal to n term or our last term and then a sub 1 is the first term, r is the common ratio, and n is the number of terms. Now let's have an example. Find a sub 12 of the geometric sequence 6, negative 12, 24, negative 48, and so on. So to find that, you are going to identify the given and the unknown in the problem. Our first term is 6. The number of terms is 12, and then we are asked to find the a sub 12, so that is the unknown. And our common ratio is, remember that we're going to divide the second term by the first term. So this negative 12 divided by 6 is equal to negative 2. So let's solve for a sub n. That is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Again, our value for a sub 1 is 6. For r, that's negative 2, and n, that is 12. So, do not forget that you are going to substitute those values in that given formula. So, again, for our a sub n, that's a sub 12, a sub 1 is 6, r is negative 2, n is 12. So, we're going to first... Subtract 12 minus 1, that's 11. Then after that, you are going to raise negative 2 to 11. Then the result will be multiplied by 6. Then the result is equal to negative 12,288. Example 2. Find the seventh term of the geometric sequence 24, 12, 6, 3, and so on. To solve that, you are going to identify the given and the unknown in the problem. And the first term is equal to 24. Okay. Next, the common ratio is 1 half. Why? Because we divide the second by the first. And then n is 7. And we are asked to find the a sub 7 or the 7th term. So that is the unknown in the problem. 
Then, we're going to substitute all the given values into our formula. And therefore, our A sub 1 is 24. Then, R is 1 half. And then, N is equal to 7 minus 1. And then, let's simplify the given equation. You start with the exponent 7 minus 1. So, that is equal to 6. And then, 1 half raised to exponent 6 multiplied by 24. That is equivalent to 3 over 8. So that is the 7th term. Another way of finding the 7th term is if you are going to observe our given sequence consists already of 4 terms. So we are just going to add 3 more terms to find the last term which is a sub 7. And remember that our common ratio is 12 over 24 or that is equal to 1 half. What are we going to do with the common ratio in the given sequence? That is, if we multiply the first term by the common ratio, which is 1 half, that will give you the second term, which is 12. And then if we multiply 12 again by the common ratio 1 half, that's equal to 6, which is the third term of the sequence. And then that 6 multiplied by 1 half, that's equal to 3, which is the fourth term. So to find the next term, so from 3, we multiplied by 1 half, that is equivalent to 3 halves. So that is the next term. And then 3 halves multiplied again by 1 half, that's equal to 3 fourths. Let's make the next term. But that is not yet the final answer. We are going to find the next term by multiplying the term by 1 half, and that is equal to 3 over 8. And we have now our last term, which is the seventh term, which is equal to 3 over 8. Example 3. Find the first term of a geometric sequence whose fourth term is negative 40 and whose common ratio is negative 2. So to solve for that, you are going to identify first the given and the unknown in the given problem. So in our problem, the first term is the unknown. And then the fourth term is given, or a sub 4 is equal to negative 24. And then the common ratio, or r, is equal to negative 2. Next is, you are going to substitute these values to our given formula. And that will become now a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. And a sub 4 is equal to negative 24. And a sub 1, still a sub 1, because that's the unknown. And then r is equal to negative 2, and the value of n is 4, minus 1. So let's simplify. You start with the exponent, 4 minus 1, so that will become 3. And then simplify negative 2 raised to the third power, or negative 2 cubed. That is equivalent to negative 8. Then after that, divide both sides of the equation by negative 8 so that we can solve for a sub 1. Therefore, 24 divided by negative 8 is equal to negative 3. That is equal to a sub 1, which is our first term. So our a sub 1 is equal to negative 3. Therefore, the first term is negative 3. Sample 4. The third term of a geometric sequence is 48. And the sixth term is 3072. Find the first term. So, our given is a sub 3 is equal to 48. And a sub 6 or the sixth term is equal to 3072. And we are asked to find the first term. But do we know the common ratio? No. So, we're going to compute for r. Okay, so with this illustration, we have here a sub 1, which is unknown here, then a sub 2, and the given 48, which is a sub 3, then a sub 4, a sub 5, and our a sub 6 is 3072. So to compute for R, let us use 48 as our a sub 1, and then let 3072 to be our a sub 4. Let us use these values to solve for R. So therefore, a sub 1 is equal to 48. That's our uh, representation for a sub 1. And then a sub 4 is equal to 3072. So we can now solve for r using the formula. 
So, that will become now a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to 4 minus 1. Then, our a sub 4 is 3072. Our a sub 1 is 48. And then, the value of r is unknown. And then, 4 minus 1. Then, simplifying this one. So, start with the exponent. So, we have 4 minus 1. That's 3. And then, divide both sides of the equation by 48 so that we can solve for the value of r. So, 3072 divided by 48, that is 64, is equal to r cubed. Now, to solve for r, so let us find a cube root of 64 and a cube root of r cubed. So, therefore, cube root of 64 is equal to 4 and cube root of r cubed is equal to r. So, our common ratio is 4. With this value of r, which is equal to 4, we can solve for the first term. So, using the formula, let us have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. So, our a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to 3 minus 1. And then, our a sub 3 is 48 according to our given illustration. And then the value of r is equal to 4, which we have computed before, then raised to 3 minus 1. And then therefore, that is equivalent to 3 minus 1, we have here 2. Then, simplifying 4 squared, that is equivalent to 16. Divide both sides of the equation by 16, so that we can solve for the first term, that is equal to 3. We can also solve for the value of the first term by dividing our third term by the common ratio, which is 4, and that is equal to 12 for the second term. But we are looking for the first term. So with this result, let's also divide the second term by the common ratio. That's 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So still, we arrive on the same result.